hi guys and welcome back to my channel okay so today we're going to be talking about how to bake perfect cakes every time like every time you put it in the oven it comes out perfect so i'm going to be giving you eight baking mistakes that you might be making that makes your cake not as perfect as the store-bought ones okay so first things first it's important to know that baking cakes is not just about the recipe you might have the perfect recipe but maybe you're using the wrong method or you're doing something wrong or there's something you're not doing at all so today i'm here to help you okay so the first thing you want to think about is do you preheat your oven okay so a lot of people forget to preheat their oven before putting their cake inside and they think to themselves oh i'm just going to turn it on and then i'm going to just put the cake in it's just going to eat up like with the cake anyway so that makes your cake turn out really horrible and that's not good okay so number two is not measuring properly so regardless of your recipe even if you have the best recipe in the world you want to make sure you measure properly ideally you should use a weighing scale not just measuring cups okay so number three you want to think about like not opening opening your oven too often a lot of people once they're baking because of the excitement every like every few minutes they want to open to see what the cake is like but every time you open your oven you're letting out hot hair that makes your cake bake and that way you're decreasing the temperature in your oven and you don't want to do that because it will affect how well your cake rises okay so guys number four it could be that your cake is too wet if your cake is too wet or if it's too dry it could be that you are either over baking or under baking so you want to check your recipe and make sure like you are baking for the amount of time you should bake for and then it is not a little bit over or a little bit under because if you bake under your cake will be a little bit too wet because it will be wet it will be like not well done yes even though the time has a last but if you bake over your cake will be a little bit too dry because you over baked for that for too longer time than written on the recipe so you want to make sure you stick to the recipe time okay so number five you want to make sure all of your ingredients not just your butter are at room temperature i can't emphasize this enough like i think i've said it more than a thousand times on this channel you want to make sure every single thing you're baking with is at room temperature so if you're going to be baking in a few hours take everything out the eggs the butter the milk whatever you're baking with always at room temperature you get better results that way okay so number six if your cake calls for a meringue if you're making a meringue with egg whites and you've been whipping for hours but you're not getting the soft speak which the um strong speak peak or the stiff peak which you're looking for a, a few things could be wrong maybe you mix some yolk into it or the whisking the whisking bowl you're using maybe it's dirty or it has some or you want to make sure it is really neat and then like you wipe it down with vinegar and you separate your egg whites and egg yolks properly that way you get stiff peak every time you whip your meringue okay so number seven i'm not sure if this is number seven anyways okay what you want to do next is okay so finally um this is something i experienced even up till now maybe the heat in your oven is not evenly distributed that way you can get like unevenly baked cakes which means some parts cook faster than others yes so you want to make sure you understand your oven yeah make sure like you bake with it severally so you can really understand what goes on in it so if a part of your oven is hotter than other parts your cake will bake unevenly so you want to make sure you know how your oven works and you pay attention for example when i bake with my oven a part is very hot so what i do is like halfway through the baking process i turn the pan around so like it goes i don't know like it gets the hot like every part of the cake gets the hottest part i don't know if that makes sense i don't change the temperature of the oven but like i switch the position i hope that makes sense so make sure you work with your oven so you can know what you are working with and what you have so that your cakes can bake evenly and you can have perfect cakes every single time so i hope this my tips helped you guys and i hope like you're going to learn from this and make perfect cake next time you're making a cake so thank you guys for always watching my videos because i love you guys for always always watching you guys keep me in business okay so you should remember to follow me on instagram i have like an instagram page where like i post a lot of things a lot of really nice things and i make pretty cakes and it's called cake me away with double underscores in front yes double underscores cake me away and remember to subscribe to this youtube channel as well and give me a thumbs up on this video i'd really like it thank you guys and see you next time